Good morning, my friends. Happy Friday Eve, lovely. How are you doing? I am stoked. Oh my goodness, Friday Eve. If you don't know me very well, let me just tell you, Friday Eve is like as good as my primer. I think that Friday Eve is one of the best days of the week. Why? One, it's the day before Friday. And who doesn't love a good Friday? And two, Friday Eve, like that's just like the day of anticipation. That is the day of all days. Like I am always like on pins and needles when it comes to Friday Eve. So many blessings, so many good things can come from it. It's just, it's the best. It's the best. So this is my third video. If you have been watching me so far, don't forget, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let's keep the momentum going, right? Right. Okay. So, I am going to do a natural look today because today I just want to remind everybody of their natural beauty and remind you how amazing you are. You are kings and queens. We are going to do the things, accomplish the goals, make those dreams reality. We're going to make the magic happen. It's a beautiful place to be. So, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes, yeah, y'all, mm-hmm, totally a southerner, but I don't know about y'all, but... Sometimes we work on this thing called life and we strive for perfection. We strive to be the best. And sometimes in this life, we still have flaws. We still have imperfections. We still have things that we are working on, working out, working through. And it's the same with makeup. It's the same with dealing with other people. You know, sometimes people are coming with flaws. Sometimes people are just messy. You know, sometimes our face is not perfect and we have imperfections and we have messiness. But you know what? You can take everything that happens in this life, everything that happens in your relationships, everything where you're trying to have makeup cover up, you can turn all of that stuff into beautiful blessing. You can turn all of that stuff into amazing. Because you know, for those of you that don't know me, I have been through some things in my life. And you know what? I do not want it to define me. I don't want it to say, because I've been through this, it means that I'm that. Because honestly, we can create ourselves any which way we want. We can turn all of that funk into fun. We can turn all of that gross into greatness. Because honestly... Honestly, you are more than your mistakes. You are more than your mistakes. You are more than what people say you are or who people think you are. I'm going to level with you here. In the grand scheme of things, my friends, life can knock you down. Life can knock you down. Life can make you feel some type of way. But you don't have to stay there. You don't have to feel that way. You know, in this world, we have the ability to choose. It's a beautiful thing. We have the ability to choose. So, you could have had a rough morning. You could have had a rough day, a rough week, a rough year, a rough life. It doesn't have to define how you look at the world around you. It doesn't have to define who you are. It doesn't have to define anything of who you are but to build you. It could grow you. It could do a lot of things. I don't know why things happen the way they happen, but I know that we can move forward in blessing. We can move forward with positivity because the reality is life is like art, okay? I don't know if you guys really look at a lot of art, but mosaic art is like my absolute favorite. I love mosaic art. I find it to be absolutely beautiful. Um, and if you are unfamiliar with mosaic art, it is a whole bunch of art you make from something else. Usually it's pieces of other things. It's broken pieces. Um, a lot of people do it like stained glass windows is a version of mosaic art. And you know, honestly, when it comes to mosaic art, people usually appreciate it in its brokenness. In its brokenness. That broken state is what gives it its beauty. That broken state is where we're able to piece the stuff together to make the beautiful art. And usually, my perspective and like how I look at the art, 
my favorite pieces of the mosaic art are the really small intricate pieces but here's the thing those intricate pieces are the most broken they're the tiny slivers of what's been shattered what you thought was destroyed and that's the part I find to be the most beautiful that's the part that's the most intricate that people really notice and honestly it's the same with our lives some of us come with really broken shattered pieces and we don't know how they're gonna get put back together we don't know how it might look we don't know we just don't know you know some of us come to the table and we're so broken and we are so tired and we are so beyond repair that we think that this is just the way it is it's never going to get better but love what if that's the most beautiful part of your story what if that's the most beautiful part of who you are because that take that spot that brokenness that you were sitting in you can turn it around you can turn it around you could use it for something good for example i i come from a, an abusive background i come from a lot of different types of abuse as a child and i could sit there and say i don't know how i'm gonna do this i don't know how i'm gonna be a better person i don't know how i could ever move on from this and you know what sometimes we don't move on but we move through and I've been able to take all of that funk and make a blessing out of it. I have been able to sit down with people that have been in the same boat as me and tell them they're not alone. Tell them that they can walk through it. Walk through it with grace. Walk through it with dignity. Walk through it with pride. Because you know what? If you are under the sound of my voice, you're still here. Your story is not over. You are a conqueror. And I'm proud of you. You still wake up in the morning. That's a beautiful place to be. That is a beautiful place to be. And I am proud of you. I'm proud of you. Because no matter what, you are still standing here. You are still doing the things. Your story is not over. It's not over. You know, I'm going to love it with you here, my friends. If nobody's told you how amazing you are, you are absolutely amazing. You are blessed, you are favored, you are appreciated. You are enough. Just by being you, you are enough. You can accomplish greatness. You are more than your mistakes, you are more than your scars. You are more than your scars. And you know what? I'm sorry for anybody listening to this it's been through some things I'm sorry like I'm sorry you went through that I'm sorry that that is a part of your story but I hope that you can sit here today and find joy and find peace and find gratitude and find love and appreciation find value because you are more than your scars you are more than a statistic you're more than what people say about you you know, if if I was everything people said about me, I would not be doing this live today. <laughs> you know, people have defined me in all sorts of ways. And I decided one day that I was going to define me. I was going to say who I was, what I was capable of, and I was not going to let any of my circumstances stop me. You know, no matter how much money I make, no matter what I look like, no matter what my weight is, no matter what I've been through... I'm going to be a conqueror. I'm going to see myself through. I'm going to make sure my goals and dreams get accomplished. You know, I don't have to be the smartest. I don't have to be the bravest. I don't have to have the most amount of money. But I've got to have the determination. I've got to have the stick to -itiveness. I've got to have the drive to push myself. And you know what? I might not win at Jeopardy. I might not have a Nobel Prize. But what I can tell you is I will outwork you. I will outgrind you. I will outshine you because of the fact 
I'm sitting here today. I'm determined to work on my goals and my dreams. I'm determined to be that person. I am determined to not let anything get in between what I'm trying to do. And I hope you're the same. And if you're not, listen to the sound of my voice, lovely. Get in your victory stance because this is fourth quarter. It is victory formation. It is time to get up and grind. It is time to get up and grind. It is time to shine. It is time to be the person that you've been called to be. It is time for you to realize, lovely, that you are a blessing. It is time to realize, lovely, those goals and dreams, they're still there. You could be three feet from your goal. You could be three inches from your goal. And if you stop now, you'll never reach it. And I would hate that for you. I would hate that for you because you know what? Everybody loves a comeback story. Everybody loves a comeback story. Everybody loves the underdog. All right. We watch movies all the time and we love a good underdog, right? Rudy or any, any of the sports, <laughs> any sports movie is going to show you an underdog and how they prevail. I saw varsity blues. <laughs> yeah, I know varsity blues has been a while. Don't judge me. But I'm going to be right here to remind you that you are more than circumstance. You are more than your environment. You are more than what you see around you, love. You can accomplish the, you can accomplish the things. You can do the do. And I am proud of you. I am proud of you that you are up and you are rocking it out. I am proud of you that you are doing the things. I am proud of you that today you are not going to give up on your goal. You are not going to give up on your dream. Not today. It's Friday Eve. I told you it's right before Friday. This is like 3 o'clock in the morning, right? 3 o'clock in the morning. If you've ever been out that late, it's late. <laughs> it's dark. 3 o'clock in the morning is a dark time. But it's right before dawn. Right before that sun breaks. And that's kind of like how Friday Eve is. Friday Eve is right before the dawn breaks. Friday Eve is right before that miracle happens. Friday Eve is right before your blessing. Friday Eve is right before all of those good things fall into place and the alignment happens. Friday Eve is your time to shine. Friday Eve does not mean slow down. You're almost there. Keep running, keep growing, keep glowing, keep shining, keep grinding. Don't stop now. You are building that momentum. You are making the magic happen. You are doing the things. You are doing the things. You are showing up for yourself. You are showing up for others today. You have got your cheerleader pom-poms. You are not letting circumstance get in your way. You are not letting anything stop you from where you're at. And that is a beautiful place to be. Because when Friday happens and you reach that goal and you reach that dream and you've hit that mark, oh, buddy, what? Can't tell you nothing. Can't tell you nothing. Can't tell you nothing. Because you were amazing. You were blessed and you were favored. You were going to excel. You were going to rock that goal. You are going to rock that dream. You were going to make the magic happen. Literally going to make the magic happen. Because that goal is bigger than your excuse. Your drive is going to be stronger than your reason to stop. Because this is no time to quit. This is no time to take a break. This is not the time to rest. This is the time to keep pushing and to go hard. Go hard. It is so pivotal on those moments where it's, it seems the bleakest, it seems the toughest, it seems the hardest. This is the time that you're going to keep growing, keep showing up. You're going to keep striving. You are going to keep doing the things. This is the time that we don't back down. This is the time that you're going to muster everything together and know I'm bigger. My opportunities are stronger than what I've been through. These obstacles are going to push me to greatness. These circumstances are going to make me a better person. They're going to make me a better person. 
I'm not going to let anything get between me and my goals and my dreams. I'm not going to let anything tell me I can't, I won't, I'll never. Because I can. I'm brave enough. I'm strong enough. I have the ability to achieve greatness. Keep manifesting. Keep speaking that life into you. Because lovely, it makes a huge difference. When we speak life into what we're doing on those hard days, that's what we're going to remember. That's what we're going to hold on to. And you know what? I'm so proud of you. I am amazed at what you've become because you are beautiful inside and out. You were a treasure. You were a blessing. You were born with great intention. You are not a mistake. Everything about you is setting you up for success. And sometimes we forget that success comes with good, bad, and ugly. So lovely today, today, go make your magic. Go make your magic happen today. Go show love, not just to yourself, but to someone else. Go cheer someone on. Go be a blessing. Go rock those goals. Go rock those dreams. Because you are accomplishing great things. You are pulling out sh great strides. Put in that work. Don't give up. And know that you've got people in your corner cheering you on. You have people like me cheering you on. You've got a team that you are building and growing to cheer you on. To where no matter what you've been through, no matter the blemishes and the mistakes, you can walk out with your head held high, knowing you did the things, knowing that you are accomplishing beautiful, amazing things. Regardless of the circumstance, regardless of the blemishes, regardless of whatever has been the obstacle in your way, you're doing the things, my love. You are totally doing the things. You are totally doing the things. And I'm proud of you. You are beautiful and amazing. If nobody's told you I love you today, I love you. I hope that this has brought you some encouragement this morning. I hope that you remember that you are more than a number. You are more than a number. You are more than a statistic. Because I'm out here hoping you win. I'm out here reminding you that you can achieve greatness. You are appreciated. You are loved. You are valued. And nothing can get in your way. Keep pushing. Keep striving. You got this lovely. Go have an amazing Friday Eve. Make it magical. Put in the steps. Do the work. And have a great day. I'll talk to you lovelies later. Bye.